ladies and gentlemen. I hope you're all having a great, a wonderful day. Well, we have this news where ABC has literally laid down the hammer on Kamala Harris. And now she's going to have to debate Trump as she did before with the, with, as she did before with the Donald Trump versus Biden debate back on CNN. So this is what the New York Post has to say about this. Uh, ABC News rejects Kamala Harris's last minute bid to change Trump debate rules will keep muted mics. So, yeah, it doesn't look like it's too, doing too great here. And I'll be showing you guys this clip here from News Nation with Corey Ludowski, pretty much uh, saying uh, what she's all done and what they agreed upon, and, you know, and all that great stuff. So, without further ado, here you go. Over the debate is done. Uh, the debate is now on. 51 million people watched the first one in June, which turned into such a debacle for President Biden that he dropped out. You may have an even bigger audience for the second debate. How is Trump preparing for it? Look, Donald Trump is a big game player. This guy rises to the occasion every single time. I remember in the 2016 campaign, the first time he ever stepped on the debate stage with all of those Republicans on there, he'd never debated, and he won the debate in overwhelming fashion. And then when he had to debate Hillary Clinton, again, had never done a one-on-one -on -one debate against someone who the media told us was the most qualified candidate to ever run for presidency. And so he beat her in those debates. And then what do we see from a man who had to debate someone who's been in elective office for half a decade, uh, half a century, 50 plus years? He destroyed Joe Biden. And only because of Donald Trump's successful debate performance did the American people finally see the cognitive decline that most of the White House press corps has been lying to us about for the last four years? Kamala Harris has clearly been lying about it. So I am so confident of his success going into this debate uh, in early September that, you know, as you know, the Kamala Harris campaign wanted to be able to sit down so she'd be on equal footing. She didn't want to have to she stand at the not true. podium. They, it they, is they true. She that. said, I want to bring notes. She said, I want to bring notes. She said, we want to have live microphones all the time. The truth is, when we negotiated on behalf of the Trump campaign, we negotiated with the Biden-Harris campaign. And these are the same criteria that she had agreed to for the vice presidential debate. She wanted to change that because she's okay. not confident in her abilities. All right, I... Yeah. Yeah, which this is true. <laughs> He's not lying when he said this. I mean, look at this here. Yeah, from American News, Kamala's campaign demands seated debate with notes for September 10, uh, 10th ABC event report. The Harris camp, after having a, a, already agreed to the CNN rules, asked for a seated debate with notes and opening statements. We said no changes to the agreed upon rules, so that's what's going on here. And we'll go to the actual article talking about this. So, again, we have this here. It says, Don't say, a network email review by the Post lays out similar rules as those for Trump's June 27 CNN debate against President Biden. Including no audience, no printed notes or props, and muted mics when a candidate is not speaking. Trump and Harris will be standing on stage and will only be allowed to have a pen, a pad, pa pad of paper, and a bottle of water. The Republican uh, campaign had insisted the debate, said to be held at Philadelphia's National Constitution Center, follow the same rules as a June showdown with Biden. However, Harris' team claimed Monday that they wanted both candidates' mics on for the entire 90 minute forum. A top Trump ally, ally said ABC News had informed both campaigns in writing last week that it would employ the CNN rules and both had it confirmed that September 10 was a go. At this point, Team Harris is going to be taking an L when they finally accept as the debate rules aren't changing or they'll take an even bigger L if they back out of the debate because the Dana Bash CNN interview goes poorly, the person said. The email seen by the Post was sent Tuesday by ABC News Chief Counsel Eric Lieberman. It, it reiterated the rules and asked the campaign for their formal acceptance. After the Post reported on the ABC News email Thursday, Harris spokesperson Brian Fallon said that but Democrats have been asked to accept the Trump request to have the muted mics, but expressed frustration and said that the Harris team remains in discussion with ABC on the final rules. Our latest upstanding understanding is that even though Trump said Monday he would be fine with the unmuted mic, uh, he, his handlers don't trust him to spar live with VP Harris and are asking ABC to ignore Trump's comments and keep the mics muted or else they will back out of the debate for a third time, Fallon wrote on X. We have been asked to, to accede to Trump's handlers, which is to, on, this, on this point for the sake of preserving the debate. We find that Trump's team stands to be weak and remain in discussions with ABC on the final rules. No, because it is the rules that were agreed upon when you when it was with Joe Biden. So this just makes sense. 
I, I don't know what else to tell these people. Like, if they agreed upon the the rules prior, previously before with Joe Biden, so it would just make sense to keep the rules going forward for Kamala Harris. The Harris folks are completely full of it. Trump campaigning senior advisor Jason Miller told Newsmax on Wednesday everything was agreed to, was was agreed to, to and set last week. He added, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. So yeah, it just seems that Kamala Harris is going to be taking this massive L. Because there's no way that she's going to be able to do this 90-minute review without notes, without a standing, without her 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 emotional stand-in buddy, uh, uh, Tim Walz. So, it's going to be a funny one. It's going to be a funny one. And apparently her uh, interview did not go super well on CNN. They had to cut out a whole bunch and just make it to 18 minutes from what I heard. So, it seems like this might be a catastrophe in the waiting here. Alright guys, that's it for the video. Like, guys, share. As always, take care my friends. I'm disgusted. By what I see in public, even people closest to us can't be trusted. This is algorithmic disease, the social media.